Okay, scrappers, welcome back to the channel. Just thinking about possibly doing a little cleanup on this stuff. I don't know if you want to watch. We got some brass here and brass there. An old doorknob. I don't know if we should sell that on eBay or what we should do. It's got a little brass on it. I don't know if it'd be worth more on eBay than the brass, probably. Got some crazy things here with plastic and stuff that we need to clean up, either that or sell it in uh, as brass breakage. These little things here, those are solid brass there, but the bolt isn't. The bolt is like uh, steel, sticky. So we gotta figure out a way to cut that. It looks like there's a pin right there holding it. So maybe if I take the grinder and cut through that pin, maybe we'll be able to get it out of there. So yeah, just a lot of different little Schatzky things. Here's a, this thing here is brass. The pins are brass, but this part's aluminum. So yeah, we'll make a quick video. See if we can clean this stuff up. I'm sick of it being on the bench. Oh, there's one of those other things from the in the last video and this here is uh i think that's aluminum because this is pretty light but we can we can test and we can see if we can maybe just grind them rivets off that's holding it yeah it's definitely aluminum Definitely aluminum. So, yeah. I don't know why I don't have my tools in here. Got them out in the car. Ugh. Yeah, let's see if we can put this in here. Pull them rivets out of there. Really? There we go. There we go. You need a good screwdriver. A good one, a good screwdriver. There we go. What the heck did I get that? I get that piece in there. Sure enough, I had it crimped in there. There's a little piece of sheet, right? Sheet aluminum, I would guess. And some more scrap. Sheet aluminum. Do I have a sheet aluminum bucket? I don't know if I restarted one of them. That was some of the stuff I took to the to the scrap yard the other day when the trailer decided to spit out its tongue. Guess we can start one there. So yeah, it's uh, it was an experience. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can just cut this and uh, whoop. See if we can cut it right through here. Don't touch that, I bet you it's hot. I bet you it's really hot. I don't know if I cut it all the way there, that one spot. Maybe right there too. Hmm. 
Uh huh. Shazam! Why don't you come on here? I don't like where that, where that guard is. We'll see if that's a little better. Yeah. All right. We're going to get through that this time. Can we pull that out of there? Pull this plastic out of there now, maybe? Uh, no. Come on out of there. Come on. Do I gotta cut the other side too? Boy, that's way down in there. She's way in there. All right, here we go. Will that do it? Will that make it come out of there? Boy, oh boy. Yeah, they didn't want that coming out of there. There's part of it. It's probably hot, Dennis. Don't touch it. Wow, oh, lots of, lots of plastic in there. Lots and lots of plastic. Yeah, it sure would be nice if, if summer would get here. Another day, it's like in the 40s. That's crazy. Crazy days and crazy nights around this place. All 
I don't know what kind of fitting this is, but it sure is crazy. I should just cut the other side for God's sakes. There. Now we're now we're getting somewhere. There. We got all these other we got more gall darn plastic pieces in there and Carter's got liver pills for cripe sakes. How's that? Now this end. Come on. Yeah, I might have to I may have to readjust her because it doesn't like uh, what I'm doing here. Ugh. It sure doesn't like that, does it? There. Now we're cooking with gas. There. Is that it now? Is that all the plastic out of it finally? Nope, there's still some plastic in there. Is it hot? It's not real hot. She ain't real cold either. There. Now we got clean brass. Should we start a pile? Let's start a pile here. See what we can get. Clean. What should we do next? This thing? Think we can unscrew that? Is that handle all brass? What's all brass on here? Let's uh, let's see what's all brass. It appears that that washer on there is, that washer is uh, not brass. We got two brass nuts there. How are we gonna get that washer off there? Do I have to cut you? Do I have to cut you right there? Yeah. I don't know why that thing's sparking at me like that. I, I don't like that. Why? Well, I bet you the whole handle's gonna come out now I take this off of here. I bet you the whole thing will come out now. See, look at there. And that's all brass. Another pile of brass there. Now, how are we gonna get this? Am I gonna need a pipe wrench to get that? That's metal there. So we can either 
We could try a pipe wrench or I can just cut it. Seems how there's two of them there, let's just cut it, huh? Let's get them glasses on, Dennis. Get them glasses on. Look at, our, look at our pile of brass, it's growing, man, it's growing. Every little bit adds up. All right, is, this, is that gonna fall on the floor? Well, of course it is. Of course it's gonna fall on the floor. It's hotter than Toby's butt, probably. Is that gonna come apart now? Is it gonna behave? Or is it gonna make me cut the other side too? I bet you it's gonna make me cut the other side too. We can do that, we have the technology though. How about this way? Come on, let's go that way. Maybe not, maybe I can get it off. No, it just wanted to fall on the floor again. That's what it was, it just wanted to fall on the floor. Come on, back up here, baby. I wonder where my gloves are. <laughs> Bet you they're in a the car. That baby's hot. She's hot. She's a hell of a girl. She's hot. Something like that. They would have just put a brass nipple in there. We wouldn't be dicking around with this. Maybe I can just turn it off. Maybe I can unscrew it. There we go. One down, one to go. All right, let's do, uh, let's do this. And then let's try, uh, let's try this baby. This is my dad's, this is my dad's, yeah. So we're gonna go this way and try to take that out of there, huh? Yeah, sure. Is that hot now? Steel. Woo, brass, here we come, baby, brass. I should have a little scale, I gotta buy one. I gotta buy a scale for you guys so I can put a little container on there and I can put all this brass right in there for you. And we can see it go up and wait. All right, how about this? Let's get rid of this junk here. That's how the bench gets all messy. I'll pick up my junk. Yeah. All right, what else we got? These things. This has been a bummer for a long time. It's been sitting around here waiting to be done. Somebody's just got to do it. Might as well be me, huh? All right. The last time I did one of these, I cut it right through the pins half and half and then it came apart.
Okay, well, let's see. That's gonna, that piece will come out of there. Ooh, that's brass there. And those are brass pins. Can I squeeze that brass pin right through back out of there? Will it do that? Negative. Can we turn her over? Turn her over, Beethoven! Is it gonna be worth a try to punch them? Ugh, tighten that up good and get a punch. See if I can remember what drawer they're in. Here they are. Look at all the nice new different punches I got from my dad's. Yeah. And these were in my toolbox from when I was a kid. All right. What? So will I punch out of there? Negative. Just wants to move in this vise. So let's cut it again, huh? Let's cut that side too. Here we go. Okay, here we go. We got a little tiny piece of brass here on this aluminum. On the aluminum! Can you say aluminum? I can say aluminum. But I knew a kid, his name was Billy. Billy couldn't say aluminum, so he said aluminum. <laughs> yep, that was old Billy. Good old Billy. Mr. Aluminum. So how do we get that out of there now? It's hot. Nothing wants to hold right here. Maybe I better just put that in a vise after I take this out of here. Okay, more brass right there. Uh-oh, drop some brass. Here's some more brass. That's brass. It's a brass pin. Here's brass too. No brass is adding up. That's still hot. Woo! Why is it so hot, see? Hotsy totsy, it's another Nazi. Uh, well, what can I do? I thought the last time I did this that I got, that I was able to get those out of there. There, there to go. Come on. Maybe if Dennis used a damn hammer, huh? Use a hammer. That's what they're for. Oh, yeah, see? Look at how that goes now. Just because I'm using the right tool. There's brass. More brass right there. She's hot brass, baby. Hot brass. How about this? Can we pull that out? No. There's some more brass. Brass, baby. Woo! All right, let's cast. Cast aluminum. I think I got a cast aluminum bucket over here going again. Right there, cast aluminum. So the brass is starting to build up here, people. All right, should we do one of these? Show you how to do one of these. All right, we're gonna cut right through there because there's a roll pin in there. So we're gonna try to cut the roll pin. Mm 
Now I'm not sure. It looks like we went right down the edge of the roll pin. <laughs> went down the edge of the roll pin. So that's not it yet. Can we get her out of there now? Can we, can we get her out? The thing is still not doesn't want to come out of there. Well, what the heck? How did I do it last time? Did I have to cut it all away? I can't even remember. By the time we get done, there won't be any brass left. It'll all be powder on the floor. How you doing now? How's it doing now? Looks like it should come out of there. Come on. Can you see this? How she's fighting me? There we go. Okay, this, this part's steel. It's hot, watch out. <coughs> this part here is brass. But we got that little bit of, uh, little bit of plastic in there. We gotta try to figure out how to get that out of there. Let's see if I can put this back in the vise. Put her in like that. Take a hammer. This thing. See if we pound that right out of there. There we go. And now, now we have one big piece of, one big piece of brass there. Yeah. More brass. She split. She split open. We see if this one goes faster. Piece of plastic's already out of this one. So what are we gonna do? Let's cut her again, huh? Cut her, let's cut her. I think that one we might have got the roll pin. We might have hit the roll pin. Ain't crazy about that thing. Come on. Well, I guess it's not gonna wanna partake in our situation. We're gonna have to do the same thing to this dang thing. Let's put her in upside down and cut her again. Cut her again. When them Germans made that part, they didn't want that coming apart, did they? Alright, so 
So, what can we do with that baby now? Is it gonna come out? Is it gonna participate in our, our program here? Or? Oh, look at that. Oh, there's a spline on there. There's splines on there and they're roll pin all the way through. Them Germans, boy, they, they didn't want that thing coming out of there. It's the old German engineering. Some of the, some of the best locks they make right there in Germany. Woo! So, what about some of these things? We got this thing here, should we slam that again? See if we can get the, watch your eyes. Okay, these little pieces here, these are brass. Brass ends. Come on, order copper, one of the two. <laughs> brass or copper. And then this piece, we got to get this out of here. So it's not just brass we're doing, we're doing a little copper too. A little copper, a little copper action for you. Yeah. Almost, I'm almost monetized. I gotta thank you guys a million and 750,000 times for subscribing and listening to this crazy old guy. I only need about less than 50 more, I think, to go. And now I can be monetized and I can make a plug nickel. I can make a dang plug nickel from this YouTube channel after a year, on almost a year and a half of work in order to probably make a check of what? 15, $20 a month or $60 a month? Who knows? So, yeah. Here's somebody outside. They're opening their door. How about this thing? You'll never guess what that's off of. You know what that's off of? It's off a commercial wash machine at the hotel where they wash your sheets, you know, when, when you do stupid things and get them all dirty. So let's just cut that and see if that'll come off. Ugh. You would not believe what one of these little hoses costs or what it costs. It's not, uh, let's just say it's not cheap and once they leak, there's no way to stop them from leaking. Let's cut the other side too. As long as, you know, it's a hundred and $125 little hose. So I guess it's worth another cut in it. <laughs> More brass. There's brass. Almost looks like copper in there for some reason. Is there a copper ring in there or something? I don't know. But they won't mind if there's a little copper in there. Does that look like copper in there to you? But who knows? It's brass. She's brass. So how about the other end? Let's do the other end now. Yeah. We're kind of like on a roll. Somebody's dinging my phone route. All right.
Okay, let's see if that'll come off or no. Or are we gonna have to, are we gonna have to cut both sides of this side too? As hard as it wants to come off of there, you, you wouldn't think it would have been leaking. But she was like a sieve. She leaked like a sieve. Yeah. All right, here we go. Cut her again. Watch your eyes. Oh, that's why. That's why we got two parts in there. Woohoo, look at there. We got brass we didn't even use yet. All right. All right, what do we got left going here? This thing, what's we gonna do with this? I do not know how this is all gonna come apart. We'll take this handle off first. I bet you that's stainless. We're sticky. There he is. Yep, stainless steel screw. Or it could be brass, but chances are stainless. Now this is cast. Is it gonna be brass? Let's see if it's brass. Nope, that's that's going to be your basic cast cast aluminum, which is right up here. We'll put that up there. Okay, now let's get this uh, rubber stuff out of here. And this plastic stuff down in there. So let's uh, see what's brass and what's not. We got brass, brass, brass. I don't know how this comes apart. Should we try to get it apart? Should I just cut it? What should I do? This seems to be unscrewing or something. Where is it? I don't know if it is or not. I guess it is. Maybe, maybe not. If it is, it's awful fine threads. <laughs> Come on. Maybe it's not. Hmm. 2.5 gallons per minute. 2.5 gallons a minute. Oh, I bet you that turns that in and out. Sure. Look at that. We're going to have to cut her. I think. Unless we give her one try to, with the channel locks to untighten it. Oh, it's coming apart. All right, look at there. I wonder if that's all brass, the rest of it. Be nice if I had like glasses I could see. Oh, guys, don't ever get old. Everything goes to heck in a handbasket. You can't see stuff, you can't lift stuff. Take advantage of your youth. Do all the things you want to do in life before you get to be too old to do it. You know what they say, you gotta live before you die or you die before you live. It's a good thing to live by. There's plastic in there. I hate when I have to cut it to get the plastic out. 
We'll see what we got going on here. More brass. She's brass. Gotta get that there plastic out of the end of there. You know, I don't, really don't mind cleaning up this brass. It's kind of fun. Challenging. It's a little different every time what you're doing. But, uh, oh, it looks like that'll screw right out of there. Screwing out. Here she comes. Here it comes. There. Look at all that stuff in there. That's from cutting. All right, now is that going to be brass down in there? Oh boy. Hope that's not metal in there. Where can we get a magnet in there? Why am I so worried about that? Nope, if that was steel in there, it would uh... So there, the old pile of brass is getting bigger. And a little copper to boot on the side. Now this thing here, what do we do here? Is there anything? I want to say this is totally all brass. So you can see down in there. Can't see that they would make all this out of brass and not that part. That's brass in there, so this has got to be brass. Let's see, see if we can test it. Okay, she's all brass. She's all brass. We'll put that on the brass pile. All right, what about this thing here now? How does this one go? It's brass, brass, lots of brass, brass knob probably. Look at that brass knob makes that go in and out. Something. Must adjust your spray thing. All right, well, let's put her in the old vise and cut her, huh? Getting a lot of this crap cleaned up. That's what we're here for. Clean up all this brass crap. Get it out of our way. Is that going to come out of there now? Maybe not, huh? Alright, how can we how can we do it so I don't burn myself on the son of a gun? Let's flip her over and cut the other side. That's the only way to get her. Or the fastest way to get her, I should say. Because that's just what we do here. It's just what we do. Mm. 
hit the switch on accident. Okay. Okay, I think it should be two pieces. I think it might be two pieces now. Let's get out of there. Yeah, look at there. She's coming apart. Oh, look at all the plastic in this thing. This one's cheaper than that other one. Come on. That's brass. So we got we got that brass. We got that piece of brass. We got this garbage. Pick up the garbage. Clean as you go, Dennis. Clean as you go. All right, how about this? I'm going to get that brass out of there. Oh, there we go. There's a brass ball there. Uh huh. How about this thing? Does that come off? Sure, that's more brass there. Okay, what do we got going on here with that? She doesn't want to come off because of that thing. Because of this thing right there. So what do I got to do? Okay, scrappers, the uh, GoPro battery went dead. And... Uh, memory card was almost full so I downloaded everything and uh, had a little something to drink and we'll come back and we'll finish tackling this this looks like it was aluminum and when I when I came down I brought down this old scale I have it uh, I wouldn't trust it to be plugged in all the time because it's something's not right with it that that started to melt in there it's hard to tell it but uh, it was and it it shuts on and off by itself, but it tends to work. So let's uh, let's give it a try. We'll see if we can weigh this stuff up for you. See how much it is. So we put that on there. We're, we're at pounds and ounces. So here, let's put this piece on there. This, this is like the heaviest one. It's 10 ounces. Oh, look at there's a piece of plastic inside there yet. Ooh. Now we're at 12 ounces. One pound equal. How much does this add? Six ounces there. That didn't make a difference. Come on. Wonder how accurate this is. Two pounds there. Two pounds, two ounces. Two pounds, four ounces. Three pounds, two ounces. Oh, I see some. Yeah, I gotta get that plastic out of there. Three pounds, four ounces. Woo! -hoo. So that looks like it right there. Let me add this on there. What is that? That didn't even add to it. Three pounds, six. Yeah, it's not even enough to make it. To change it, we'll put that in number two. This is cast aluminum here. 
this is junk here. All right, so let's uh, get back to this, huh? What's this thing gonna be? Is this gonna come off of there now? Is it? Ooh, boy, oh boy, that flew like you would not believe. And I bet you I left my darn sun or my safety glasses upstairs. Man, this thing is this thing is definitely aluminum. I don't know if it pays to even dick around trying to get it off here. So I don't know why it's not wanting to come off. You know what? I ain't even gonna mess around with it. Ain't even gonna mess around with it. So, yeah, we got some more stuff. This stuff is getting a little awfully tedious stuff here. Fiddly, as old uh, E-Waste Ben would say. It gets pretty fiddly. So, I don't know. I don't know if it pays to mess around with, you know, trying to take that stuff apart or if it's just, it's probably just not worth my time. That stuff there might just, uh, I don't know. This is pretty good though here. That looks like copper there. That, I think, is steel. Yeah, that's steel. But this is copper. Oh my God, no it's not. That's steel too. Good thing I checked that, huh? It's, 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 uh, it's imitating copper. It must identify as copper, but it's not really. It just identifies as copper. See, you know, there is that brass, or is that just is that just uh, making believe it's it's brass? No, that's brass. The only thing it's holding is that little tiny little tiny rivet there. Should we uh, grind her off and see if we can get her off? There we go, a little more brass. It's 546. Huh. Two more of those. Brass right there. That's silver on them. It's got silver too. I don't know if it's worth pissing around doing this. This is getting pretty micro scrapping, I'll tell you that. micro scrapping yeah so how about this stupid thing can we try to do this thing those are security screws in there do we have a security screw that size no clue why they would 
why they made them security screws that size where can I get some security screws if we got them they're in here probably huh looks like we might have that size that's a little bit small there is this gonna be the right size that's a little bit too big one's too big and one's like in between all right so how are we gonna how are we gonna get it how are we gonna get it man get it wonder what i can uh should i put this in Oh, did you see that? <laughs> Went right in the heater. Went right in the heater. Make the old man bend down here. Why didn't that stick in there? Well, I know why. I forgot to do it right. Gotta pull back on that. Then it won't come out. So, should I, uh, should I just use the channel locks on the top of that and see if I can See if I can get her to break loose. There. Because I don't think that thing's going to do it. There. Now it might do it. Now it might do it. Oh, did you see that? Stuck right to that magnet. I wonder if there's a spring in here. Bet you there's a spring. It's already getting tight on here. It's a spring in there. Is it gonna spring loading? Oh, I bet you that's brass. Is it gonna spring out at us? Bank shot into the bucket. It's gonna fall out the bottom, I think. Come on, get out of there. Okay, now this thing must push out this way. Look at that, what is that? Is that gonna be brass or copper or stainless steel or? I don't know what the heck that is. But that looks to be stainless, or not stainless. That's all brass. The whole thing is brass now. I don't think that comes out of there. I don't think it comes out. I don't know if that's brass or not. Let's let's scrape it. Yeah, I guess that's brass. I wonder if a magnet would stick on it. Where's Sticky? Sticky, here you are. Okay, no Sticky there. So that's all brass. Let's see what that adds to the weight. Turn her on. Uh-oh. 
14 ounces for that thing. Okay, what does this end do? Is this the part with the spring in it? Spring loaded? Betcha that's aluminum. It's awful light. That's aluminum. How do I get that out of there now? I don't know. See, it's kind of weird that it, it, it automatically did the tear. So. Okay, let's put this away. Put that away. All right. So, yeah. This goes in here for now. All right, let's see if we can get this off here now. It's awful tight, it used to like move and stuff. Now, it, she doesn't want to. Yeah, there's a spring in there, that's for sure. There's a spring in there. Just gonna spring out the bottom. Boom, look at that. She really blew, ha <laughs> ha. Or there's a little piece of brass in there. Can we punch that out of there? It looks like it goes from this side. It looks like it's there. She's bouncing around. Come here. Oh boy, oh boy. Look at there. You know what this is for? It's for spray paint art. It's for making half moons. I haven't tried it yet, but I've seen it done. So I don't know which way that brass is gonna come out of there. It's gotta go out. It's gotta go out this way. It's gotta go this way. Just gotta hit it harder, Dennis. Use a bigger punch. Use a bigger punch, Dennis. Really? You gonna be that way? It's gotta come out this way, cause it's, it doesn't, uh, it's, it's bigger diameter this way, so it ain't gonna push through that way. It's gotta come out this way. Oh, there, maybe she went. Yep, broke the old aluminum right off her. <laughs> broke the aluminum and everything. Oh boy, how can I do this? Maybe if I had a needle nose, I could hold it. Try this needle nose until we find our other ones that are out in the car. There goes that cast aluminum. There, that's a little bit of brass. Okay. A little cast aluminum in the cast aluminum bucket. There we go. Spring. What was that? This cast aluminum. Spring. Steel. Yep. Steel. Garbage. What is this? Ooh. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't stick. It doesn't stick. 
Let's see. Let's test it. See what it is. Did you see? Did you see them there sparks? I saw a little couple of sparks. So that's stainless steel. That goes right up in here, right? Yep. Probably knew that, didn't you? So let's see, what do we do with this thing? I've saved this for years because I thought, man, that's got to be worth something. It looks like a big diamond. But I don't know. I've never sold it. It's been in my toolbox for years and years. Might as well just scrap it. Unless somebody wants it, they better call right now. <laughs> Is that going to be brass? Would they have made that brass in the olden days? Nope, that's steel. All right, so how's that going to come out of there now? Come on. Ugh. So, yeah. I don't know. What do you think after this piece here? I don't know what the heck. What the heck we're gonna do with uh, Oh my god, is that is that even brass? That's steel too! Oh my god! Here we thought it was brass. So if you stuck with me this far, please remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I'm almost monetized. It would be so awesome, Miss, to be monetized. And I want to thank everybody, everybody who subscribed, because it's, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't even do this. But, you know, hopefully you enjoy the videos and whatever. Be sure to check out our merch store. That's one way you can support the channel. Get yourself some really cool t-shirts or something at Scrap dash meister.com that's right scrap dash meister.com and and i hope you'll watch one of the videos that's on screen now